It's a 2-1 series lead for Edmonton as they have an opportunity to push the Calgary Flames to the brink of elimination with a win in Game 4 here at Rogers Place tonight. Now it's a scenario that we saw in the opening round as Edmonton was up 2-1 on the LA Kings but ended up dropping Games 4 and 5 and as Zach Cassian, Connor McDavid and head coach Jay Woodcroft mentioned this morning they hope to take the lessons from that Game 4 and apply their learnings here tonight and make sure history does not repeat itself. Yeah, I mean, we don't look at the past too much, but, you know, I think we can learn from the last series. Um, you know, obviously game four was probably our worst of the series. And, um, you know, I think it's an opportunity for our group tonight to, uh, to show that we lear we've learned our lesson and, um, you know, bring our A game tonight. Now, Game 3 saw some incredible individual performances, beginning with Leon Dreisaitl, who set the NHL record for most assists in an NHL playoff game in one period with four. And then Evander Kane picked up his second hat trick in as many series as in Edmonton Oilers. But it was all led by their captain, Connor McDavid, who becomes the first player in NHL history to record nine multi-point outings in his first 10 postseason games. I don't want to pump his tires too much. He's sitting right next to me, but... Uh... <laughs> No, it's it's impressive. He's the leader. He's the leader of our team. He uh, he he drives the bus, and uh, and we got to follow. I think he's uh, he's found another level in his game, and I think collectively as a team we've followed. And um, we don't expect anything less. Obviously, you guys are seeing it. Maybe that don't watch us all the time, but um, what he can do is pretty special. And uh, we're going to need him to continue to to do what he does out there. But. Um, what he does is uh, pretty impressive, pretty amazing. It's nice to have a front seat and, and, and watch him do his thing. McDavid, Dreisaitl and Kane have combined for 55 points in the team's first 10 games in the postseason. And when you look at the offense in Game 3, much of it began in their own zone with heavy back pressure, creating turnovers, and then utilizing the space in the neutral zone. And as Jay Woodcroft mentioned this morning, it's the team's versatility that's a big reason why they're having success so far in this series. Different team, different challenges uh, tactically. Um, LA had a very specific uh, look in the neutral zone. Uh, that's, you know, was geared towards their identity and how they got to the first round of the playoffs. Calgary plays a completely different style, and I think um, one of the hallmarks of our team is that uh, we think that we can win in a lot of different fashions, and um, so and part of that is understanding. Um, the speed bumps that you got to get over uh, based on what the, the team you're playing uh, shows you. And Dreisaitl and Darnell Nurse were not on the ice for morning skate, but Jay Woodcroft did confirm that both players are available and based on the lines at morning skate, we should expect no changes heading into game four. For this TV, I'm Tony Brer.